living the life of a digital nomad and has its attractions. But before you embark on it, you really do need to separate the myths from the realities, and we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, let me just sort of set the scene here. You've downloaded the four-hour work week to your Kindle, and now you want to live the unfettered freelance lifestyle while traveling the world. Correct. Well, let's look at some of the myths. First of all. The myth is you can work when you like from wherever you like. Well, the reality is somewhat different, and because you never know where or when your next paycheck is going to come from, you tend to take on as much work as you can when it's on offer because you think that well you might not get any more. So never mind the four-hour work week. Sometimes it feels like a hundred-hour work week. And then in between, of course, it's the zero-hour work week, but not because you want to. It's just because you simply don't have any work to do. There's another myth: traveling is fun. And the reality, well, yes, it is to begin with. But just like with everything else, after a while, it becomes a grind. Every airport, every ferry terminal, and every train station gets to look the same after a while. And you've got all the endless security to put up with. You've got all the endless traveling. You've got the different languages, different currencies, and after a while, it just gets to be a real grind. Now, there's another myth: you can get by on much less money. Well, that's true because the reality is you have much less money. But that said, you don't have as many overheads or things to spend money on anyway. So the fact that you don't have quite so much money isn't really a big deal. Another myth: wherever you hang your hat is your home. Well, the reality is somewhat different. If everywhere is home, then nowhere is. And I know that sounds kind of strange. But there's a risk that the place where you grew up, or where you went to school, or where you settled after you finished college, will become a foreign place to you as well, because it's going to change, as will you. But quite often, changes are subtle. But to you, the changes will be more noticeable, and you'll find it harder to settle back in should you want to return. And for some people, this is appealing. They want to distance themselves from the past and go away and reinvent themselves. Others, though, find losing this connection difficult. Another myth is you'll visit some interesting places and you'll meet lots of new people. Reality, well, this can certainly be true, but. It's not all tropical islands out there, and you'll find some places look a lot different to how the tourist board would like you to believe. So you might find somewhere, and you see, oh wow, it looks really nice, really interesting. But after you get away from the main streets and into the back streets, they're all kind of grotty, and sort of places that backpackers stay are a bit run down. And of course, it's hard to form lasting friendships or relationships as you're never in one place for very long. And finally, another myth: if you're thinking about it but you don't do it, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. And the reality, well, that's true. If you don't do it. Especially if you don't do it while you're young, or if you're in good health, then you may well regret it later on. And bear in mind, you can always practice by saving up all of your vacation time and/or taking a leave of absence from your job, and then going away for a couple of months to see how you take to the lifestyle before you take the plunge for real. But it can be very rewarding. For more free educational content, visit. Learn for free. Biz content produced and distributed by All Super Info.